Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Mars Phone Bonds. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um I just want to go back to the, the last video that I did um speculating on possible um sculptures or statues, whatever you want to call them, in these alcoves here. Okay. Um I thought they were, they were very anomalous. But they weren't the only thing that that was anomalous in this particular image. Um, there was something over here as well that I wanted to show you, but I, I didn't want to make the video too long. I want to try and shorten the videos down a little bit because I don't think people watch the full videos, and they might, you know, they miss a lot of information. So if I, what I'm going to try and do is maybe break down the information a little tiny bit for each video. I mean, I love putting as much evidence and as much information and data in each video as I possibly can but I think that they're too long for a YouTube video I mean some of my videos are like an hour and 15 minutes long or for me something 20 minutes long is like is like it's up you know it's so so small it's such a small video it's so um, short it's untrue but I'm gonna try and shorten them anyway see see where we go um, so this particular um, anomaly, the centre there, the centre of the picture. So if I just do that, so is 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 what we were looking at last week here. This little tiny row of alcoves there, and if you come across here to this area, and I thought this was really really anomalous. You know when I saw it. I, straight away uh, I thought this is this is another work of art and when I say that I don't say it lightly because I I my personal opinion I think that Mars is literally covered in works of art in, in geoglyphs in portrayals of human beings and animals it's absolutely covered in them and I, I've done that many over the last few years, you know, I don't think what I'm describing is all pareidolia or imagination. It can't be. It can't be. You know, it, it, it's just, I, I just think the culture that once existed, all cultures, they amalgamated, if you like, art, art, artistic visualization with practicality. And what I've noticed is that a lot of the the geoglyphs and sculptures that I've pointed out seem to seem to be located by entrances into what what look like entrances to me into underground. So the mouth or the eyes could be the entrances to an underground civilization if you like but but they've made it into like a face or a human being or an animal but but the eyes and the mouth are are the entrances so you know it's a deliberate it's a, a, a deliberate function of the artistic visualization if you like of 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 where they live it seems to be um, an integral part of 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 the whole of 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 where this culture once you know once existed. I've got a terrible feeling. I don't think you know there's anything alive on Mars. My my gut instinct is that you know Mars is now a dead a dead planet, and everything that I point out are the remnants, the eroded remains of one what once existed on Mars. And I think these are what they've left behind. And the massive, massive works of art. For some reason, they they they've uh, uh, adopted this this artistic visualization in the in right across the planet. I think that I think Mars is is literally covered in works of art. I mean, it started off for me in Cydonia. If you go and have a look at some of the the videos there, I mean, Cydonia is just literally covered in 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 depictions of human beings, animals, 
uh, you know, with analogues on Earth, but also strange animals, whether they're indigenous to Mars in the past or from outside the solar system. I, I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's all like speculation. But anyway, um, I digress a little tiny bit. When I saw this, right? This, like, obviously, this like exploded in front of my face and I thought my god it looks like a human being and when I saw this as well it's it's um, a four-sided pyramid it's a little tiny bit different from a lot of the other um, features in this area and um, there's something here that looks like eroded pyramids but it seems part of a bigger uh, geological formation but this was on its own and you can see that there's one two three four sides to the pyramid and then there's a triangular feature here that may or may not be um, a face it may or may not, may not be I'm not, not too sure but so that struck me as unusual in a sense you know it looked like a four-sided pyramid and I thought well that's interesting and then when I realized what was above it I thought my god you know this it can't be a coincidence because what I can see is a human being, like sculptured into the ground, if you like. I can see the face here, I can see the eyes, the nose, the mouth, there's the head, there's the neck, there's the body, and it's sitting down. It's sitting down on something, and I know the leg area is very, very eroded, but you can literally see the toes poking out here. You can, you know, you can see the big toe, and then you can see the other toes um, sticking out at the bottom of the of 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 what looks like a four-sided pyramid. And everything about it is is in proportion with the head, the neck, the body sitting down, the toes, and what it looks like to me is, and it's all sim, it's all symbolic symbolism, if you like. You know when they when they did these things, obviously they did them for a particular reason, but it, it, we can only speculate on why they did this. But I I've always called this the Looking Glass Man. You know I've had this image for quite a few years, and that that's my name for it because I it looks to me as if he's looking into a, into a, a, a magnifying glass or something like that. He's holding a what it might be just um, a massive rock or monolith or it could be depression in the ground it, it could but the the people that lived here have turned it into an integral part of the sculpture or the layout the way they've put it so he's looking into what might be possibly a magnifying glass or something of interest okay and there's um there's actually another face here, a little face. I found I found this on quite a few of these geoglyphs were added into the main image are little faces. Like there's one here and there's another one here. There's, this one's a little bit harder to see, but you can see the eyes, the nose and the mouth on that one. And that type of little little face is, is quite common. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull them all out one day and show you and, and do a comparison with them when I get the time, if I ever get the time, um, but, right, okay, so I'll just, what I'll do is, um, I'll just come on to that, and I've done them in different uh, contrasts, different brightnesses, um, just, just so you can get an idea of what, what, what I can see, and sometimes you can see it better in colour, sometimes you can see it better in, in black and white like this one I, I, I haven't enhanced this doesn't all I've done is desaturated the color okay and you know to me to me it, it just looks like an individual sitting there looking into um, you know a magnifying glass of some sort and you can see the the pyramid a little bit better there can't you with the erosion and everything else and you see his toes but I don't know whether you've noticed this guys right and it, it's dead dead weird right but 
and this is what really struck me about this when you look at the face of this this humanoid face you can see the eyes the nose the mouth and he's looking into you know whatever it is if you look you can see the little face there by the way can't you a little bit more clearly see with the eyes the nose and the mouth <clears throat> and these are walls see all these circles these are walls because i think the structures and buildings here but the resolutions are 55 feet per pixel so it's going to be very very difficult to see individual structures there could be an entire city here guys and we, we wouldn't be able to see it properly it's only something like this you know really large that we can usually you know see properly but but sorry if if you go back to the face here if you look here right i i can see another face right and it's as if this is a mask this this humanoid face here is a mask and behind the mask is this thing here and you can see the top of its head the dome you know the dome of its head you can see its eyes one there one there it's got a hooked nose and it's got a little open mouth and it's got a single tooth in its mouth you've got to have open mind on this on these things guys I'm only describing what I can see this is what I can see have an open mind and you know have a look at the evidence <coughs> excuse me and decide for yourself this is exactly what I can see I can see another another face here and, uh, and you know not a very attractive person whatever it is it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty ugly isn't it and it's as if that's the real face behind the mask in the front the humanoid mask or is it is it trying to tell us that human beings or whoever these were there's two sides to them maybe a good side and an evil side I, I, I don't know I'm just completely and utterly speculating but I can see two sets of faces there it's dead weird but that's what I can see and here I can see the half profile of another face by the way an eye a mouth and it's all heavily eroded but it does look like another face now whether it's been deliberately obscured or it's been eroded away I don't know but it does look as if there's a lot of erosion in the image okay now if you just have a, a careful look at this because I think these are walls I think the there's there's buildings here the structures here very difficult to see but I'm going on the sculptures that we can see like a little face and the major faces here and this fact there's a four-sided pyramid there which uh, I don't think there's any coincidence but if we just come out of that and go back to this and um, I've just done it again in colour I know I'm going over this a couple of times guys but I want you to to see what I can see and you can see the guy looking into the, the looking glass here there's a nose the eyes his, his mouth and look at the face in the background there with the eyes the hooked nose and the mouth that's open with one tooth how weird is that and it's sitting down and the four sided pyramid is, is like a table if you like and you can see the toes look at that there it, it's so so weird and you can see the face a little bit better on that eroded one there okay now um, just let me come back out to that go to this again now there's a guy called Michael Tellinger okay and he's done a lot of work on um, these uh, like like African circles he calls them and there's millions of them hundreds of thousands if not millions of these circles and Michael Tellinger reckons that they were um, the remnants of a civilization that once existed in Africa okay you'll have to look him up and he's got some really interesting stuff going on but this is the type of stuff I'm talking about and when I seen this I just thought it was very very reminiscent of what I'm what I've just been showing you that that figure of a humanoid human being with the round made up of round circles that's why I'm saying the walls because you know it looks like this it's it's absolutely a, a ring of for it for that for the likes of that that sort of shape 
and that sort of design and these are, are like you know hundreds if not you know tens of you know thousands of feet in length but apparently there's millions of these structures all over Africa and it does not look like what I've just been showing you doesn't it if um, just come out of that um, you know and, it's, and, and, and these structures were they don't know who made them They're very mysterious but but Michael Tellinger reckons there's millions of them all over Africa built by an unknown civilization so right so can you see can you see that these circles the way they're all joined together maybe one time they, they formed you know um, animals and people or you know I don't know but terrible coincidence really strong coincidence here um, just go on to that um, this has got a few individual ones you know like close up and that's what they're like close up so they're like walls and like you know just like rooms maybe maybe they were encased maybe they had roofs thousands of years ago I don't know but that's what they're like in close up but they are quite big and some of them stretch for miles and miles you know much much further than a thousand feet uh, okay then guys I think um, I think that'll do us for that one but there there we go looks like a human being it's looking into a looking glass there's a four sided pyramid you can see the toes it's sitting down it's leaning over looking into it um, there's remnants of a face here there's maybe another face there which I think are, are structures and buildings um, and it looks as if here there's another face behind the mask so this is the humanoid or the man behind the mask which is really really interesting um, another one there okay all right then guys uh, I think I'll I'll leave it like at that I think of um, I've shown you what I wanted to show you on this particular image and I hope I've given you a little bit of food for thought you know so you can make your mind up as to whether you think that is a natural formation produced by you know geological processes or was there a civilization on Mars that produced artistic works of art and, and joined them with pra pra you know pra practical structures I mean look at that I, I just think it's so so weird you know the face there and it's it's amazing really all right then guys thanks very much for watching um and i'll see you soon for the next video thank you good night